Hi everyone, today we're going to study testing the difference between two means for large independent samples. Z-test is used to test the difference between two means when these two conditions are satisfied. Number one, the population standard deviations are known. Second, the variables are normally or approximately normally distributed. Or when both sample size are greater than or equal to 30. The following hypotheses are used. H sub 0. This is the null hypothesis, colon, mu sub 1 equals mu sub 2. It means the two population means are equal. Next, H sub 1. This is the alternative hypothesis, colon, mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2. There are assumptions for the test to determine the difference between two means. First, the samples must be independent of each other. Second, the data should be from a normally distributed population and standard deviations of the variable must be known or n or the sample size must be greater or equal to 30. Here is the formula of Z-test for comparing two means from independent samples. Z equals x bar sub 1 minus x bar sub 2 all over the big square root of sigma sub 1 square over n sub 1 plus sigma sub 2 square all over n sub 2. In here, x bar sub 1 and x bar sub 2 are the sample means of respective group. Sigma sub 1 square and sigma sub 2 square are the population variances of respective population. N sub 1 and N sub 2 are sample sizes of respective group. In the comparison of two means, if the test value falls in the critical region, then the null hypothesis is rejected and the researcher can conclude that the population means are different. If the null hypothesis is not rejected, then researcher can assume that the means of the populations are basically same or we say that the difference is not significant. If population variances are not known, sample variances can be computed and be used in the formula, but both sample sizes must be 30 or more. Let us see this example. A survey found that the average hotel room rate in New Orleans is $88.42 and the average room rate in Phoenix is $80.61. Assume that the data 
were obtained from two samples of 50 hotels each and that the standard deviations of the populations are $5.62 and $4.83 respectively. At alpha equals 0 0.05, can it be concluded that there is a significant difference in the rates? For our solution, this is step 1. State the hypothesis and identify the claim. So we write here H sub 0. This is the null hypothesis, colon, mu sub 1 equals mu sub 2. We are saying here that there is no significant difference between the two room rates. And then H sub 1. This is the alternative hypothesis. Colon, mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2. In this problem, the alternative hypothesis is the claim. Step 2. Find the critical value. At alpha equals 0 0.05 and at two tail tests. This is denoted by the not equal sign in the alternative hypothesis. The critical value is Z equals plus or minus 1.96. We got this value from the standard normal distribution table. Step 3. Compute for Z test value. The formula is here. Let us do the substitution. We have now 88.42, that is the X bar sub 1, minus 80.61, this is the X bar sub 2, all over the big square root of 5.62 square over 50 plus 4.83 square over 50. Simplifying the numerator and denominator respectively, we have now 7.81 all over the square root of 1.098266. Getting the quotient, the value is 7.45. The step 4 is we make the decision. Considering this figure, the two tails are shaded and the 7.45 is located on the right side of the critical value. So we say that since 7.45 is greater than 1.96 and this test value falls in the critical region, we reject the null hypothesis. For step 5, we summarize the result and we write, there is enough evidence to support the claim that the means are not equal. Hence, there is a significant difference in the rates. Again, in step 4, we rejected the null hypothesis. It also follows that we are accepting the alternative hypothesis. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.